Wednesday. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Ten ways that holographic creation is more powerful than visualization by Christopher Westra, author of I Create Reality. Creating reality in the moment is holographic creation. You can also call it manifesting in holographic time. You create what you want on a spiritual level, quantum level, and then it grows until it becomes crystallized into physical reality. All these ten comparisons between holographic creation and visualization are based in the fact that there is no such thing as time. The only moment is now. Note, some people who are skilled at visualization are actually doing holographic creation without knowing it. Visualization is part of holographic creation. This article fully explains the differences between the two. So when I speak of visualization, I'm talking about the limited version of visualization as traditionally taught. Visualization is very powerful for some people precisely because they understand the deeper laws of holographic creation. Learn more about mastering holographic time to live in extreme wealth and peace. Now you have these keys to manifestation also. Here are the 10 ways. 1. Present versus Future Holographic creation is a present activity. You build your creations in the present, not in the future. Your focus is truly in the eternal now. Visualization is future-based. Visualization is focused on a desired future, not on creating something in the present. 2. Actual creation versus pictures. Holographic creation is really creating something. Holographic creations are real entities. They are made of matter, just a more refined matter, not visible to us now. Visualization works with pictures. Visualizations are images and are not usually considered as having a real existence. 3. Permanent versus short-lived. A properly constructed holographic creation has the power of permanence. They have continued existence after they are created. They grow independently while you go on to do other things. A visualization is short-lived. If all you are doing is visualizing, your visualizations stop living and existing when you stop visualizing. The picture disappears. 4. Multi-dimensional versus two-dimensional. Holographic creation is at least four-dimensional. It is actually a multi-dimensional process, more than four, but four is about all we can understand while in this current time and space game. Visualizations are two-dimensional. Visual images are merely representations in our mind. Five, inner world versus outer world. Holographic creation is focused on creation in the inner world of thought, light, energy, and sound. In reality, it's all energy. You know that the outer manifestation of your thought creations are simply a natural result of the inner manifestation. Visualization is focused on outer reality. The focus in visualization is on the physical world, with little or no emphasis on spiritual pre-creation. 6. Emotional power versus detailed images only. Holographic creation uses emotion. You can only do holographic creation if you properly use your emotions. You actually feel the emotions you want to feel. The holographic creation sheet helps because you have to actually write down the name of the emotion. You have to decide what emotion you want to feel. Confident, joyful, connected, and energetic and feel the emotion in the present moment. Visualization doesn't include emotion. No, many promoters of visualization have discovered the power of emotions and added this to their visualizing program, which is a great plus. Again, millions of people have found visualization powerful, and it can be, but millions of others have found no benefit. 
By itself, visualization doesn't include all the steps. Some find the keys to effectiveness on their own, and some don't. Holographic creation contains all the elements, and that's why it's so effective at creating what you want in life. 7. Gratitude versus Grasping Holographic creation uses gratitude to align your energies. Proper gratitude is an inherent part of holographic creation. Gratitude aligns your energies with the inner world and allows you to manifest in an easy manner. When you decide to create something good in your life, you must be grateful for what you already have in that area of your life. Trying to manifest from a state of total dissatisfaction with your life in gratitude is not effective. It also doesn't reflect the reality of the many blessings you do have. In visualization, there is no emphasis on gratitude. Most often in visualization, there is simply wanting, craving, and grasping with no thankfulness for present blessings. You can find things to be grateful for in any area of your life. The holographic creation sheet makes you find these areas because you have to write it down. 8. Hope versus Doubt Holographic creation generates amazing hope and confidence. When your energies are aligned and you absolutely know you are creating in the inner reality, you feel so good. You can feel your creations growing and crystallizing into the denser physical reality. Hope is a full expectation of desirable things to come. With holographic creation, you have this full expectation. Visualization works somewhere between doubt and hope. Most people who practice visualization hardly have the full expectation that the things they are visualizing will really become reality. 9. Welcoming versus Needing Holographic creation leads to a relaxed welcoming of desires. There is a divine unconcern that is an integral part of manifesting. Hollow creation naturally produces this mental state. You have confidence because you know the reality of inner creation. This relaxed state leads to peace, oneness, patience, and effective action. Visualization usually stems from a needing, grasping desire. Because there is no work in inner reality, there is often a fear that what one desires will not come to pass. This fearful needing leads to discontent, impatience, hurry, and frantic action. 10. Always works versus sometimes works. Holographic creation always works. The laws of manifesting physical creation through prior holographic spiritual creation always works. You just have to learn the laws and practice the methods. Learn more at iCreateReality.com Visualization sometimes has great results. When visualization works, it's because the individual is naturally and intuitively including many of the elements of holographic creation. Everyone will improve their manifesting skills by understanding the principles in a conscious way. You can see a short video about holographic creation at iCreateReality.com. You can also sign up for my daily newsletter at iCreateReality.com. For related articles and free resources on light, love, and manifesting, see LightIsReal.com.